Greetings in this Easter season. I'm Yuri Brito, and this is our fourth book review. I have just uh, concluded James Jordan's essay entitled A Crisis, Opportunity, and the Christian Future. The book was published by Athanasius Press, and you can find other books by Jordan by visiting athanasiuspress.org. Uh, the premise of this book is that we are living in a time where there is a tremendous opportunity for Christians to lay the foundations for the culture and civilizations of the next thousand years. Now, the book, of course, implies an optimistic view of history. You can't speak in these terms without assuming the overwhelming success of the gospel in the church and in civilizations. Christians need to understand the times like the men of the tribe of Issachar. We need to see how God guides the development of human history, and we need to see how God intends human history to develop and to progress. According to Jordan, there is an age of the Father, followed by an age of the Son and the age of the Spirit. And he provides in the book a, a helpful overview of redemptive history, proving the necessity of this uh, three-staged age. Culturally is another dimension that he deals with in the book. Uh, culturally, we find three types. There are three types of culture. First, there is the culture of tribes. And we see example of this tribal system in Judges chapter 5. In a tribal culture, the people are warriors and they are also farmers. According to Jordan, they are a festive people. They are gathered in small groups. They fight other tribes and not other nations. And these tribal cultures, they have their own worship, their own laws, and their own signs and symbols. The second culture is characterized by nations or cities. In Kings and Chronicles, Israel becomes one nation, and then it becomes two. Their enemies were not other tribes, they were other nations. And so, again, in this second culture, they also have their worship laws and signs and symbols. The, thir the third culture is uh, characterized by empires. They created a common civilization embracing many nations. Again, they have their own uh, distinctives. And so, the Christian worldview must embrace all three cultures. But it must look at these cultures in light of the coming of Messiah. And with each new cycle, with each new era, with each new age, there is a refining that uh, takes place. There is a death and there is a resurrection. But in every death, there is a greater resurrection taking place. And the church needs to think in these terms. It needs to offer, in the words of James Jordan, a holistic life to a holistic people. The church needs to know how to address each age and how to readdress each new age. We need to abandon the cold intellectualism, which very often leads to the breaking of the second word, and we need to embrace a warm and a festive and a biblically saturated life. Again, you can find this book at AthanasiusPress.org. I encourage you to purchase a copy of Crisis Opportunity and the Christian future. And also, as a side note, uh, Jim uh, uses quite a bit the works and the writings of Yogan Rosenthal Yusi. And so I encourage you also to pursue him as a source in thinking sociologically through these elements of uh, stages and ages in redemptive history. Uh, thanks again, and we'll see you next week.